Last year we did a ride with Leon and Troy Corsa. This year the guys were keen to do it again. This year we got Marco Melandri. Unfortunately, Leon broke his ankle in practice for the World Superbikes and he was gutted that he couldn't make it for the ride. But we've got Bernard Godmeyer, the team director, in his place, who has always expressed interest in coming along, but it's never been possible. So it's about getting out in the bush with a couple of VIPs with the BMW World Superbike team on a new model bike, which doubles up as a press launch, actually, for the new G650 GS Surtout. The new G650 GS Surtout is a reincarnation of a very popular bike we used to make a few years ago called the F650 GS Dakar. It's a 650cc single. It's got a really torquey, fuel efficient motor that's great for adventure riding. It's got an under the seat tank. It's got ABS, it's optional, and it's also switchable. So the guys have been switching it off in the dirt and leaving it on when we're riding on the wet roads. It's got hand guards, a decent screen on it to keep you protected from the wind and rain. Great features like heated grips are standard. It's basically our serious entry level adventure bike. It's a real dual purpose bike. You could ride it very, very easy, very nice on the road, but also it has a lot of off-road capabilities. It's not a motocross bike, but you can almost do anything just to cruise around, tour around, do a serious enduro riding. Yeah, I love it. It's uh, very easy to ride. The engine is very, the torque is uh, it's very easy. So also with a low grip, you can go wherever you want if you keep the right gear. I never rode before this kind of bike, even in the road. I need to get to get one at home in Italy. That was nice, but it was a little too easy. I was surprised how good it is. It's just an easy bike. It's light. It's it's easy to ride. The power's nice and smooth. It has all the same options with the ABS as the 800. So, you know, for somebody that's a bit smaller or if someone just wants a lighter bike that can ride it up some really steep trails, it's a great bike. For what they are, it's amazing that you can go riding on the road and be so comfortable and then just go up a trail and go up a big steep hill like we did in the wet and, you know, without any problems. So, yeah, I think they're an awesome package. It's still very civilised on the tar. It's great when you're riding on the bitumen but it just gives you a little bit more capability off-road because it's got extra travel and that bigger front wheel to give you more stability in off-road situations. It's a great two days and everyone has a ball. We ended up heading up towards Mount Terrible, coming back down to Big River, wound our way back through Marysville, did the Akron Way and we're now at Warburton and from here we wind our way back into Melbourne using twisty back roads and, and different pieces of off-road through the BNAC State Forest. So we've got options. You always have to have options because we didn't plan for this sort of weather. We just add the bits and remove the bits that make sense and have a great time, you know. Unfortunately, it's back to the office tomorrow, but at least we've been out here having fun. We had a lot of fun. Overall, I must say, it's a wonderful, wonderful area here. For me, it's very exotic because with all, all these eucalyptus trees, and the, the landscape, the mountains here, the roads, very, very interesting. When you think back, it's always fun, the difficult time. So we've been struggling a lot last night because it was very foggy, raining, and slippery in the hill was very deep. But uh, now I can't say it was funny, but yesterday not as much. So much fun. No matter how much you talk about it, there's nothing like going and doing it. I love to get out on the trail because with the racing that we do, it's always pressure, pressure, pressure. It's all about lap time, you know, and you're trying to figure out how to go faster. And it's good to sometimes go out and have a ride on a bike and just do it for the fun of it, which is why you started riding bikes in the first place. Great atmosphere with the, with the group that we have. Everyone's having fun and, and I'm having a ball. I've done it with the spanner a few times, but yeah. it's just getting really done already. And I had so much fun just uh, riding the bike alone and with friends. And it's been, uh, I'm sad already, we are already finished, but it's time to go back home now and think about the next race.